5. Now, charges are starting to trickle in for SunPass customers. Many, though, fear a deluge will be hitting their accounts. It is now day 36 of the SunPass maintenance delay, and the state contractor has yet to provide a written guarantee that all the problems have been fixed. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky talked with one state lawmaker who is pushing to get results for drivers. She joins us live now from the newsroom. Adriana. Well, State Representative Bob Cortez says he was on the phone with FDOT today demanding answers and making sure no state money is being used to pay the state contractor until all these problems are fixed. The contract is not being paid at this point. State Representative Bob Cortez is the vice chair on the House Transportation and Tourism Subcommittee, and he says he is watching FDOT's dealings with state vendor Conduent very closely. He says Conduent's failures are unacceptable. They should not get paid until uh, everything gets fixed. A check on the SunPass website Friday morning shows a few charges from both June 1st and June 2nd posting on July 5th, and some tolls were posted on June 29th. But the last time any charges were consistently billed was June 2nd, three days before the scheduled maintenance upgrade began. Another problem, no one can print any monthly statements or correspondence for their records because according to SunPass, no records can be found. Something needs to be done. Mike DeMaro is a delivery driver and says he hasn't been able to fill out reports required by his employer. It's us that's being affected. Us Floridians are being affected by this on a daily basis. Florida Transportation Secretary Mike Dew has given Conduent 10 days to fix the problems and promised to hold them accountable if they could not deliver on the state contract. Have you gotten any confirmation if any penalties have indeed been levied against Conduent? No, no, no penalties have been in, in, imposed yet. We are still going to be looking into the contract. Remember, the 10 days expires next Thursday. So we are, the letter is being followed as to what, uh, what the secretary has sent. And the whole idea is we will hold them accountable. Now, we have reached out to FDOT by phone and email for the past two weeks, trying to get our questions answered and are still waiting for a response. But Cortez says starting Monday, FDOT is supposed to provide daily updates on the progress, and we will be watching to see if that happens. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6. Adriana, thank you.